Hello everybody. In today's video I'm going to be uh, ranking the series of Blackadder. Now I am a huge fan of Blackadder. It's one of my favourite sitcoms of all time. You know, I love Rowan Atkinson. You know, I love Mr Bean. Uh, not the 9 o'clock news. Johnny English, of course. You know, Rowan Atkinson live. Love Rowan Atkinson. You can't go wrong with him. He's just, he's just hilarious. So yeah, I'm going to be ranking the four main series of Blackadder. So I'm not including any of the specials. So there's no Blackadder's Christmas Carol, no uh, Blackadder back and forth. I'll save them for another video. I'll rank those separately. I'm just ranking the four main four series <clears throat> from Blackadder 1 all the way to Blackadder Goes Forth. So yeah, it's four here to rank and uh, a little bit difficult because, you know, I love all these series, even the first one, you know, so even my, so even the one at the bottom of my list, I still love it. So yeah, so number four, the bottom of the list, not that I don't love it, but it is the first series, Blackadder 1, it's now known as Blackadder 1, because they made more series after this, but it was originally, it was originally just called The Blackadder. And yeah, I think compared to the other series, I do consider it to be the weakest in the series. But it's still a fantastic series. You know, I love it. But you know, when you compare it to the uh, the three that that came after this, it got it got a lot better after this. I think most people would agree anyway. But um, I still love it. But, you know, because his character does change in subsequent series, you know, in this one, like, Edmund Blackadder is very, uh, he's very sort of vulnerable and very, um, he's, he seems very sort of, uh, easily scared. Whereas in the later seasons, he's more, um, he's more sarcastic and... And of course, the character of Baldrick, he's the he's kind of like the one who's very, uh, you know, he's very uh, stupid. But in the first series, he's he's actually not he's actually kind of more intelligent than than Blackadder himself. But yeah, still a great series. And this DVD copy that I have is actually signed by Tony Robinson, who who plays Baldrick. I met him at a uh, convention in Birmingham back in 2019. So yeah, he signed the uh, the DVD for me. So yeah. So this this could be worth something this this particular copy that I have, but but yeah. Great series, it's just not my favorite. <clears throat> Number 3 is is Black Out of the Third. So we can get some dates here. Blackadder the Third, nineteen eighty-seven. The first series was nineteen eighty-three. So this was eighty-seven. And yeah, I do enjoy this one a lot. You know, you got Hugh Laurie as as uh, the the Prince Regent. Again, I don't watch this one as much as the top two, but you know, but you can't really go wrong with any of these. You know, they're all good, they're all just good episodes. And then number two is the classic Blackadder 2, so the classic second series, uh, 1986. So yeah, this was three years after the, because I think the first series, apparently it didn't do very well when it was on its original broadcast. So that's why it took three years before they finally decided to go back and make a second series. And yeah, this one I think was this was better. And yeah, this one I think this is the one where uh, most when you think of Blackadder, I think this is what most people associate how most people would associate Blackadder the most. And of course, you got Rick Mail. Rick Mail plays Lord Flashheart in the first episode. He's just fantastic. I mean, who doesn't love Rick Mail, right? Yeah, 
Black Heather, Black Heather 2 is a classic. Um, leads me with my number one. My number one is Black Heather Goes Forth. You know, I think out of all of these, this is probably the one I've watched the most. You know, the... So this is the only uh, Blackadder series to take place in the 20th century. So it was during the First World War. And yeah, Rick Mayall does reprise his role as Flashheart in one of the episodes. But in this one, he's... Uh, I think he's Captain Flashheart rather than Lord Flashheart. So yeah, he's basically a descendant of the original Flashheart. Because, you know, it's a series where there is continuity between the series, but there's, like, uh, like huge, uh, like, really long time frames between each series. Because they all take place in different uh, time periods. So the first series is during, you know, the, the Dark Ages. Second series, you have Queen Elizabeth the first, And then third series, you've got, um, you know, Prince George. And then this one, it's... So, yeah, the, although they are technically the same character they're not the exact same characters like in each series they're like the descendants of the characters so so the Edmund Blackadder in Blackadder 2 is uh, the grandson of Edmund Blackadder from the first series so it's, you know it's re really clever when you think about it but yeah I love I love Blackadder goes forth Really sad ending though. How the the last episode when they when they emerge from the trenches and then yeah, it's kind of a really sad way to end a sitcom. But but of course, this wasn't the end of Blackadder as we know, because many years after this, they did they go on to make uh, Back and Forth, which was like a, a short movie that they did, which takes place uh, during the millennium, which was also damn good so yeah so when was this 1989 this was made so yeah so this was like the end of the uh, the full series of Blackadder but they did make but they went on to make the uh, the special 10 years after after this and I will rank the specials in another video because you know you've got Blackadder's Christmas Carol you've got the Cavalier years and then you've got back and forth so yeah I'll do those in another video this video I was just focusing on like the, the four main series <clears throat> but yeah I hope you enjoyed that and take care I'll see you again soon